Hi there, this is Enyo. So you are tuning into my channel. So this is a channel for you to get everything Ghana from an insider's perspective. From markets to historical to cultural tours, everything. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the visuals I'll be sending your way. Also, there's more content for you and come along whilst I explore other parts of Ghana. Hit the subscribe button to see the best of Ghana. Hi guys, a massive welcome back to my YouTube channel. On today's video, I'm exploring the Art Center, a place for beautiful art crafts made by local artisans here in Accra, Ghana, and all over the country. So come along, let's go check out some beautiful art that you might like. The Center for National Culture, also known as the Accra Art Center, is located on the John Evans Atamels Highway in Accra. It's home to different arts and crafts, from local fabrics to carved items, all the way to jewelry and to hand-woven items. You'd also find paintings amongst other things in the art center. Come along, let's go explore this beautiful place of art. Each vendor has a store. Some of these vendors stock the same things and others store different things. These stores have unique numbers. The art center is not just home to art, but also a home to a number of artisans. Here is an artisan sharpening his chisel, ready to make some beautiful awaris. It was time for me to play some Owari with the Owari maker. Let's see who wins this game. In Ghana, the Owari is played by two players. Now I'm enjoying some game with the Owari maker. So each person has one row, which is their home. And then each hole has four seats. So the idea is to always play and get four seats. I moved on to the next artisan. So he said this is actually a swearing stick from Nigeria. So the idea is that if anyone commits any crime, you get this swearing stick, you give it to them, and then they swear. If they are telling the truth, nothing happens to them. But if they are lying, something happens to them. Yes, he paints these um, swearing stick with different colors. It was so amazing to watch him make beautiful afro combs made out of wood. This particular one is used for sectioning the hair whilst braiding. We are now at the gongong maker's place. So the gongong maker is polishing his gong gong with some sort of lubricant. This is to prevent it from rusting. The gong gong is used to convey information. It was definitely fun hanging out with these artisans. Now let's go back into the art market to see what they have in their stalls. Oh yeah, just say. Oh soja. What film you want? What film? Oh soja. Yo.
you come to the art center, the market is very big. You see the textile market, down the textile market, you find the art and craft market. We have a whole lot of wood carvings. We have a whole lot of varieties. My shop number is shop number 106. I sell art and craft wood carvings. Thank you. This is a musical instrument from the northern part of Ghana. It is called Bakita, but popularly known as Kushka. And we got the name from the way it sounds, you know? Kush and Kash, Kush and Kash. So it's like this, and I also attach my few skills to it to make it sound good. Sound good, sound good, sound good. We are here. The name is IG or our Stagali. I'm at shop number 93. Down, 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 down here. When you come, you can get more and learn more. 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 So these beautiful fans were made by Aduko here in the art center. Come here and come meet him, learn how to do it and order it in bulk for your family and friends. Nimba from, from Guinea. And uh, this one, they use it for the Yam Festival. During this day, we used to put it in front of the king before they are going to start the festival. And we have the smaller one, it's over here. They wear it and dancing for Guinea Festival. Pam 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 pam